As you just saw, we just started the framework at Demolition Ranch. A lot of you guys have been asking about this. Well, we're back. We were just waiting for the slab to cure and uh, we were, as you guys know, finishing up other projects. So anyway, we're back and we're gonna get to work. They have all the columns up. They are using four by four square tubing. And right now they are using the water level. You guys have seen this on some of my videos already, but um, a water level is just a, just a clear tubing hose full of, uh, you can just simply use water, <laughs> hence water level. But uh, these guys use uh, windshield wiper fluid because they keep it in the trailer. And of course it never freezes. So water always seeks its own level. And you can see the other guy's holding it on the other side. So he's holding it here. And the water, see the water settles about an inch below. So he lifts the hose and he just keeps doing that until the water settles right on the line. See right there, it settled right on the line. He told the other guy it's good to go so the other guy puts another a mark on the other column over here so the reason for shooting a level on all the pipes is that's going to be their place where they're going to measure from right they take it uh, just they just mark from the ground up whatever four feet or whatever it may be and then they just make sure they're all level and then that's going to be where they're going to measure everything from okay so whenever they go cut up there, they're gonna measure from that line. Whenever they put their purlins on the wall or the girts on the wall, they're gonna measure from that line. Everything is gonna happen from that line from now on. All right, so they have the first truss up there and they're getting it welded. They're getting the second one ready to go. So this is what it looks like. All right, so this is the bottom of the beam over here. You see this cut right here, this hook? That's gonna come in handy when they throw it up there on those pipes. And I will show you how that works. It just, it just locks itself into that uh, tubing. But I'll show you how that works. You need to do edge to edge. You gotta do 24 feet minus eight. Why minus eight? Because the I-beam sits on the inside of the tubing and that tubing is four inches on each side. So right now what he's doing is he's marking the pitch. We are doing a three on 12 pitch. So do not cut this at 90 degrees. So whenever they cut the I-beam, they need to cut it eight inches shorter because the, the uh, tubing here, this is four inches, okay? So four inches here, four inches there, that's uh, eight inches. That I beam is gonna sit on the inside, but only the web and the bottom are gonna sit on the inside. The top is gonna stick all the way past and sit on top of this uh, tubing. So the top is gonna stick past it. The bottom is gonna be on the inside, plus the web. And the web, they cut that hook. So what they do is they'll cut a groove on this uh, tubing, a notch, and that's where the uh, I beam falls into. You'll see here shortly how they do that. And now that I showed you that, this should start making a little bit more sense. This is the bottom. This is gonna be on the inside of the tubing. And this is the top. This is gonna go over the tubing. And this is gonna hook into the, the uh, notch that they're gonna cut on it. So I'm having a really hard time explaining to you how this works. That's what we have to show you. So stick around for a little bit. I'll show you. What are they cutting those grooves down the center for? Ah, that's a good question. Do they actually stick the beam in? All 
All right, so you saw how that I-beam locks into that square tubing. And now it's just a matter of welding it in place. All right, so this is what it looks like after it has been set in the square tubing. That's that hook right there that they cut into the web and have a little tiny gap right there. Now they're gonna weld everything. They're gonna weld the bottom, up the side, all the way around and there on both sides. All right, so now you can see how strong this connection is. I mean, it's pretty overkill, but hey, that's what it takes, right? All right, so we still have to weld this side of the I-beam. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. All right, there it is. See what it looks like. All right, well, not too shabby. <laughs> Of course, I used the uh, 7018, and uh, of course, when you use 7018, you have to weld uphill against gravity. What do you think? I'm probably gonna have to reweld that just to make sure. Yeah, we'll we'll probably get Matt to reweld this. Uh, no, I just blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that around here. You do not say stuff like that around. Here. <laughs> Safety video. concerns. Better video. <laughs> yeah, right. Blow it up. Blow it up. All right, so I'm gonna wait for him to finish welding the other side. Then we're gonna get down from here. We're gonna do the other truss, and then we're gonna start on the purlins. More material just showed up. Of course, we got a parade going over here. <laughs> so we're having to use small trailers. Usually, they bring all this stuff in like really big trailers, but because this is pretty tight around here, we're having to use small trailers. Work all day till I'm totally beat. Get back home and fall right to sleep. Alarm goes on, friend, the morning and the cycle's complete. Work, sleep, repeat. That's what those tabs on the I-beams were for. Let me show you which tabs I'm talking about. Right there. Ah, actually, these tabs. Right, right there. <laughs> anyway, that's where the purlins go. They are welded. And uh, again, as you guys can see, these guys are moving right along. You have the base angle up here. That's for the uh, roof sheets and the wall sheets. Then on the underside, right here, you have another base angle. That's gonna be for the metal soffits to attach to and the skirting. So now we gotta do another one over here. Right here. So that we can put the, uh, again, the, uh, the metal soffits under here. They're gonna attach that to that uh, base angle. Okay. All right, so this is how much they got done today. As you saw, they did not finish the purlins because they didn't bring it to us. So there was a mess up with the odor, so not enough purlins. So we're gonna have to come back again tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, and finish this thing up. But it's moving right along. So the guys from WD Metal Buildings are the guys building this metal building. These guys are top notch. They do hay barns, metal buildings. I mean, you name it. Go check out their website, wdmetalbuildings.com. Link in the description. And give us a like. This guy likes likes. You like likes? I love likes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. We are Texas Barnuminios.